Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you all to Distinguished Professor in Webinar Series, Faculty of Engineering, University Technology Malaysia 2020. This is the lecture series among industry and academia in sharing their knowledge, ideas, an application which has been successfully applied in their field. Besides, we able to gather today in building our networking for academic staff, researchers, and students across the world. It is an honor and a great pleasure for me to introduce our guest of lecture series, Professor Dr. Kenzo Iwao, the former professor of Nagoya Institute Technology, Japan, and Professor Dato Engineer Dr. Muhammad Rafiq bin Dato Abdul Kadir, the Dean, Faculty of Engineering, UTM, the thinker and the coordinator of this distinguished lecture series. On behalf of the committee, we would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you. We appreciate you taking our time off, beside, I'm sure, with very busy schedules as today is Arafah day and tomorrow is Idil Adaha, you're still able to join us. We hope that you will learn a lot and we have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. As we know, climate change is a real long-term problem that requires a multidisciplinary global approach. With the phenomenon of heat stroke, it is conditioned caused by our body overheating and result a prolonged exposure and this will increase our high body temperature. Due to this phenomenon, many researchers have came up with several solutions to overcome this issue, especially on how to cool down the thermal heat surrounding. Let us stay, unwind, relax, while listening to this lecture. Without further ado, I would like to pass over to our beloved Dean, Professor Dato Engineer, Dr. Muhammad Rafiq bin Dato Abdul Kadir, to introduce our honor speaker. Dato, I pass over to you. Uh, thank you, Iza. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, welcome to our 28th UTM Engineering Distinguished Lecture Series. Uh, my name is Muhammad Rafiq and I am the Dean of Engineering, University Technology, Malaysia. Today, it is my utmost pleasure to welcome Professor Iwao Kenzo from Nagoya Institute of Technology, Japan. A bit about our presenter today. Kenzo Iwao holds a degree in electrical engineering from Mi University in 1974 and a degree in medical engineering from Fujita Health University in Aichi Prefecture of Japan in 1988. As a passionate researcher, he continues pursuing his PhD in agriculture under environmental control and environmental biotechnology from Meiju University. He was former professor of Nagoya Institute of Technology for almost more than 10 years. Previously, he was a research manager in Shubu Electric Power Company with the involvement in applications of electrical engineering while maintaining a healthy environment. During this time, he completed the seedlings of kelps by propagating tissue culture using biotechnology along 5.6 kilometer long and 15 meter wide around Chubu International Airport for the absorption of the surrounding carbon emission. He has published extensively in journals and peer reviewed conferences through his knowledge in engineering medicine and agriculture. Dr. Kenzo is the recipient of the Excellent Researcher Awards under the Japan Ministry of Science and Technology due to his passion for improving the environment. Besides that, he also involved in the mitigation of the heat impact in Japan and various measures to cool Japanese cities. Some of his major commercial achievements are the anti-heat island specifications of tiles, roofing tiles and paints that have been widely used in the city of Tajimi, which is the hottest spot in Japan during summer. So that is a biography of our speaker. Here now is Professor Iwao Kenzo from Nagoya Institute of Technology, Japan on how to cool Kuala Lumpur. 
Prof. Iwam Kenzo, over to you. Uh, thank you for a warm introduction for me. Okay. Hi, everyone. Apakaba. I'm Dr. Kenzo Iwao, speaking from Japan. Uh, the title of this lecture is How to Cool Kuala Lumpur. This is the UHI control technology studied with Professor Fadero of UTM and its application to new academia. I hope you will enjoy my lecture and please laugh many times for my relax and bear with my poor English, please. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, okay. Um, and the contents are one, cause of UHI and its solution. This is the essence of this lecture. Uh, two, what is atmospheric temperature? Three, what is ground surface temperature? Uh, four, actual effect of our reflection technology. Number five, summarization by NHK World News for five minutes. Uh, number six, uh, UHI is one major CO2 emission sources. Seven, theoretical approach to UHI phenomena. Eight, introduction of my patents on UHI. Nine, what is new academia and conclusions? Uh, then maybe Q&A and uh, appendix is closing surprise for three minutes. Next slide, please. Please look at the lovely deer in the picture. They know the hot sauce is solar heat. They relax in the shade of trees in middle day in summer. Next, please. That is good way. However, there is a big misconception in our thinking and behavior. For example, my wife once told me, I got a good idea from the picture. And then she bought a black parasol and said, not hot in the shade, comfortable. The problem is this black parcel absorbs solar heat 95% and then all the absorbed heat will be di dispersed around her. It means the solar heat stay in the city. If she use white parasol, it reflects solar heat 90% uh, to space directly. Consequently, it will be more peaceful in my home. Next, please. Congratulations here. You got the solution of UHI. If we could increase the reflectivity of the full city scheme, that is called albedo, the air temperature could be lowered. According to our theory, three degrees Celsius reduction is expected by 20% up of reflectivity. This is great because lowering air temperature by two degrees Celsius uh, 
by the end of this century is a target of Paris Agreement. It's the wishes of all the world. Next slide, please. Uh, so what is atmospheric or air temperature? Uh, this is the relationship between air temperature uh, and the height above the ground. In my flight from Japan to Singapore, the pilot announced the air temperature at Singapore is 28 degrees Celsius. By the way, one of my hobby is to memo the height and ambient air temperature in the flight map screen. Ambient air temperature at 7,000 meter high, uh, air temperature was uh, minus 15 degrees Celsius. And at 2,000 meter high, uh, 16 degrees Celsius, and finally 28 degrees Celsius. The pilot was right. Uh, uh, 28 degrees Celsius on the ground at Changi Airport. It's interesting that the relationship is very linear, and the uh, slope is minus 0 0.6 degrees Celsius per 100 meter. And the same phenomena uh, in Japan. Once I went to Gentin Highland, it was very cool there. The place is 1,700 meter high, so cooler by 10 degrees Celsius than Kuala Lumpur. Next, please. So, what is the ground surface temperature? Before that, that is, uh, what is the ground surface in the city? It looks complicated, but after all, their roof, road, wall of the building, and so on. For example, some roof received the solar heat, solar light in the form of light wave, and absorb it. Immediately, it changed into the form of so-called heat. Then the roof temperature rises and the heat start flow out to the environment, according to the temperature difference between roof and air, just like the case of black parcel. It means the city skin is the fast surface heater to the air. Very bad. Next slide, please. Next, okay. Then how much the ground surface temperature can rise? This is the experiment Me measuring the surface temperature of various color tile, which is uh, exposed to direct solar radiation in our night tech. You see uh, the pyranometer and uh, wires of thermocouple. The surface temperature of the dark brown tile reached to unbelievable 85 degrees Celsius at maximum, and the white tile to 55 degrees Celsius. The difference was 30 degrees Celsius it means some tires are much cooler than dark color one. Okay, next slide, please. 
this is a recorded data of one day. The brown line is the, the solar radiation intensity. The purple line is the uh, uh, air temperature. The maximum difference between brown tiles temp temperature and air temperature was 47 degrees Celsius. So brown tiles is very powerful surface heater to the air. Next slide, please. Next one, please. Okay, here I'd like to show the TV news in order to support your understanding and summarization for five minutes. Let's go. In Japanese cities, concrete and asphalt abound. The heat iron effect from air conditioner exhaust and heat retained by buildings makes city oppressive. Over a six-year period, there has been a five-fold increase in the number of people needing an ambulance after suffering from excessive heat. To help moderate the inferno, a civil engineering firm in Gifu Prefecture has developed a new kind of paint. This is a wall that has a special paint that it looks like an ordinary painted wall. Embedded in the paint are tiny beads the size of a grain of sand. This reduces by almost 90% the heat that buildings absorb. We compare temperatures on the roof partially covered with beaded paint and an unpainted area. It was 36 degrees on the unpainted area, but 24 on the area with beaded paint, a difference of 12 degrees. Here is how it works. The beaded paint deflects sunlight away from the surface and back towards the sun, so the building absorbs much less heat. With conventional paint, building walls reflect sunlight onto other buildings and the ground, causing them to transmit heat. But with the beaded paint, reflected sunlight will not heat up the surrounding areas. Towns without trapped heat will become cooler. Scores of orders have been pouring into the paint company. Offices, schools, and factories are among those using the new product. Anyone can be a do-it-yourself painter because it's just paint. It's very easy to apply and extremely effective. That's the benefit of this paint. Last year, this restaurant painted its walls and roof with a new paint. The interior used to be so hot that the air condition did not help much. Now it's a different story. If you touch the wall, you get that cool cement feel. It's not retaining the heat. I'm delighted that our customers can sit and eat in a cool place. For many years, Professor Kenzo Iwao of Nagoya Institute of Technology has been researching how to use reflection to moderate the heat island effect. The professor came up with these blinds. In winter, the black side faces out, absorbing the sun's heat. In the summer, the white side faces out to deflect sunlight. According to Iwao's estimate, if 20% of a town's sunlight can be deflected, the temperature drops by 2.8 degrees. For example, by increasing the reflective power of a parking lot on a department store rooftop, thermal energy will not collect in the town, causing it to be cooler. in the town, causing it to be cooler, one degree for each degree of heat sent back. 
One obstacle to reducing heat in cities is traditional tiled roofs. Many Japanese homes have black tiled roofs, which do not reflect sunlight. A large tile manufacturer in Aichi Prefecture has been looking into how to solve this problem. At first, the team developed white and lighter colored tiles with high deflective power. However, the Japanese did not like the colors, so the tiles did not sell well. Next, the team developed a highly reflective black tile. With their innovative glaze, the tiles deflect invisible infrared rays. 15% of the sun's light is bounced back. Roofs using the new tiles were 12 degrees cooler than those covered with the slate often used in Japan. We thought it was extremely important to retain the Japanese aesthetic of the black tile and also to avoid the heat. Will we be able to make cities cooler? It depends on innovation and new technologies that deflect sunlight and their widespread acceptance. Wakana Hashida, NHK World. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, by the way, another big environmental problem is uh, global warming. This graph is the precious data of the relationship between air temperature rise and increase of electric consumption in the big city. Luckily, we could get the data of New Orleans, USA. Over 22 degrees Celsius, you see the electric consumption increase uh, by 47 megawatt hour, according to one degree Celsius up. Uh, that is 4% up per uh, one degree Celsius. So, 10 degrees Celsius up means 40% up of electric consumption. In order to obtain cool comfort, people easily spend too big energy and consequently bring global warming. It's shame and immoral, I think so. Next slide, please. Uh, by the way, CO2 is generated by the combustion of fuel and exhausted to atmosphere from the chimney of thermal power station. I was an engineer of a big thermal power station just after graduation from university. So I show you the important data of my former company, Tube Electric Power. That is 850 megawatt up by one degree Celsius up in summer in Japan, in, in our area. And the mean value of CO2 emission intensity uh, in Japan is 555 grams CO2 per kilowatt hour. Uh, this accelerates global warming. Okay, next slide, please. Next. Okay. Uh, therefore, if we could lower air temperature to moderate level by our reflection technology, we can reduce CO2 emission. Do you trust me and Professor Father? Okay, I see. 
you doubt us. This important experiment was done in our NITEC. You already know the surface temperature of newly invented white tile will be significantly lower than the conventional one. However, be careful. The point is the air temperature above this new tile is lower or not than that of the air uh, of conventional tile. That is the uh, most important point. Uh, next, please. So my student measured air temperature above the conventional tire and the newly invented tire. Conventional and new, newly invented one. Uh, above one centimeter high, air temperature difference was 5.3 and uh, then five centimeter. Uh, 15 centimeter, e even 30 centimeter high, the, there is a difference, two degrees Celsius. There was a weak wind, uh, but the, the air temperature is uh, lower, lowered. Next slide, please. Uh, come back, my mistake, yes. Okay. Um, this, is, this is the evidence of the actual effect of our reflection technology. This is the evidence. Now, I'm confident to cool roof further uh, I can cool the town. Moreover, even big city, by utilizing the roof, wall, road, car park, and so on, as a tool to cool the city. I'd like to say once again, we can utilize them uh, by our wisdom, by our wisdom. It's engineering. Those are not our enemy. Uh, that's the main cast to solve UHI. Okay, next slide, please. Uh, here, I must explain about the theoretical approach to the mechanism of UHI because we belong to the academic world. At first, let us observe the city from the sky. The city surface is complicated, as you know, but observed from the space, uh, it must be a vast flat plate. Uh, next, please. Then, this is the modeling of radiation heating of the city just before mathematical treatment. Some of the incident solar light will be reflected here. Uh, according to the reflectivity of the material of city skin, uh, tile or road, uh, the rest will be absorbed and accumulated. We call it heat storage, heat storage. This is the UHI phenomena. Next. Uh, the model, this model gives us the one differential equation 
I named this equ impressive equation as UHA equation. It teaches us several important principles of UHA mechanism. If I could have a chance, I'd like to explain them more in detail. Next, please. Okay, my last topic is what is new academia? In today's our, our activity, the new collaboration system among industry, government, academia uh, is inevitable. For example, uh, industry always needs new ideas for new product. On the other hand, uh, some researchers in academia have seeds of new technology, such as uh, nanotechnology. However, the collaboration is not easy. Unfortunately, many of them finished as our service. Uh, next slide, please. Therefore, we, academicians, should have patent prior to the collaboration, not after the collaboration. I have 10 patents, and three of them shown here uh, on UHI. I wrote the patent application form and technical documents in detail by myself. I think the class of how to write patent document will be important for a student in the technological university. Okay, next slide, please. Oh, here is another TV news video of New Academia. Please. アトバニ都市の表面に刻まれたイサギザです。実はこのタイル、ヒートアイランド現象を防ぐ効果があると言われています。あ、インベッテッドディスタイル。このタイル開発の舞台、岐阜県多治見市です。タイルの生産量では全国で50%市内現在、溝の幅などを変えた7種類の試作品が完成していて、今年の夏から販売に乗り出す計画です。今回、田地見市でこのタイルが開発されたのには、この地域ならではの事情がありました。田地見市は去年の8月、気温 they had 41 degrees Celsius. シガイチ全体が異常に暑くなる。ヒートアイランド現象が一つの原因でした。気温が上がると熱中症で倒れる人が続出。冷房などの消費電力で、暖かいサンストローク。ヒートアイランド現象の仕組みです。太陽の光は街中の建物や道路に吸収されると熱に変わります。その熱が空気中に放出され、土地の温度を上昇させます。しかも建物の壁を反射した光は地面に吸収され、さらに気温を押し上げるのです。今回開発された新型タイルは表面
空中に反射させますさらにタイルの表面に塗られた特殊な釉薬は太陽の光を 50% 以上反射します新型タイルはヒートアイランド現象を緩和する切り札として期待されているのです新型タイルを考案した名古屋工業大学の岩尾健三教授ですヒートアイランド現象を防ぐ研究を15年間続けてきました岩尾教授は新型タイルの効果を実験で確かめました左側が従来のタイル右側が新型タイルですタイルに光を当てると従来のタイルとは異なり新型タイルは空中へと光を反射することが確認されましたこのもん初めて見ますもん建築資材ねこれが普及しただけ着実に温度を下げていきますね OK enough タイルの開発では、yeah. 猛暑対策を。Next slide。OK。Oh,、uh, conclusion. I'm very happy. I could reach to the conclusion safely.、Uh, number one,、uh, how to cool Kuala Lumpur? It's easy, cheap, and quick in construction. By our reflection technology. So let's make cool room pool. However,、uh, the two,、uh, there is a barrier that is our lifestyle and culture. People don't want to change their lifestyle. Many black cars are running around. And、uh, black asphalt road is expanding day by day. Let's enlighten them together. It's the big role of academia, our duty of the academia.、Uh, number three, let's promote new academia. There are many chances、uh, for RD grant, new product, new IPs, new business.、Uh, especially to students, please invent gray colored asphalt, please, and chameleon paint, which is black in winter. And white in summer. We Japanese will be happier. And furthermore, wind glass to reflect solar heat as keeping its transparency and then get patent. You will be a millionaire.、Uh, next slide, please. I took this picture in Chennai, India. In order to lower air temperature by 2 degrees Celsius,、uh, the meteorological agency is promoting the、uh, campaign to paint roof white、uh, or road white. The governmental division is doing good job. We have to run their way. Individual effort is too small effect. Okay,、uh, next slide, please.、Uh, to student, study wide for your prosperous future,、uh, for your attention. Terimakasi. And Arigato g o z a i m a s I pass the button to Isa san.
Yeah. Thank you so much, Sensei, for such a very good, I mean, it's very honoured for us to learn a lot, especially on how to cool Kuala Lumpur. So maybe I'll just want to give a, a few description back. Um, actually, UTM and NIT has been um, in a very good uh, collaboration uh, since 2008. And um, Sensei actually has supervised more than five students as, um, with a collaborator under Professor Engineer Dr. Muhammad Fadil Muhammad Dane. Um, and all of um, his supervision is actually now become a lecturer um, in private and public university, especially me. I'm, I'm actually the co-supervisors and the sensei. So it is a very great honor. And um, besides that, um, I'd just like to share the new academia has been started off ever since 2008. And I can say back in Nagoya Institute of Technology, NIT, it has become a very good platform because um, the coordinate um, Shen, I mean, the, the collaboration in between the industry and university is happening very good. Um, they have yeah. like a special office, isn't it, Sensei, um, in, in NIT uh, for them to, to do the research. And um, I can say that um, the collaboration in between Prof uh, Fadil and Sensei, um, they already granted uh, almost 500K um, yeah thousand i mean under tajimi i went to tajimi it's very hot and they're willing to share the collaboration um besides having almost five ips that we developed together prof uh, fadil together with sensei you all um we we've been um come up, i mean we have lots of achievement so thank you so much sensei um now i would like to open up question from the members of the floor maybe the first question from Noor Hassan prof how do mm. you optimize between the end product and cost between the end end product and the cost certain investigate invention is good but cost no 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 for example for example uh, uh, during when they manufacture the tile, the zigzag shape. Zigzag, the corrugated. Yes, so uh, the easy to the, okay, uh, the same cost. No cost up. Uh, you see, you know that in Tajimi, uh, you wearing human tourists and the world tires okay uh, yeah cost up the same uh, uh the same in the roofing tile you see in the video uh everyone the the same the only change the some something uh, maybe yeah uh, maybe I, I would like to conclude what, what I mean, like the what um, Prof has mentioned, actually, mm. Nur Hassan, um, mm. the product of what um, Sensei developed is actually from normal tile. It's just mm. that the technology on the design, mm. the zigzag. So meaning to say mm. we are still using the same cost of the tile. It's just mm. that the design it has been made corrugated, zigzag. Am I right, Sensei? Yes, yeah, same. The price is same. Yep. The, the cost mm. is the same. Thank you. The, the effect is very uh, significant. Yeah, the effect is okay. The next question, yeah, the question to okay, the um, thank you, Muhammad Anwar Hussein. Uh, what is actually the importance of the collaboration among government, industry, and academia for innovation of new product? So, why it is important, Sensei? Uh -huh. Importance among government, industry, and academia for innovation. Mm, not so innovative. Uh, for for example, uh, the, we need when UTM 
collaborate with the um, industry, you have to call officer, attend some project. Uh, it's okay. They watch and uh, uh, watch our uh, collaboration. The industry is too strong. So at first uh, we handshake and then uh, later, 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 uh, they stronger, become stronger, stronger. And uh, we can say much about anything. So I said, uh, I said to the uh, importance of uh, patent. If, if we have the patent prior to the, uh, prior to the collaboration, uh, the industry keeps their politeness forever, forever, okay? And uh, innovation. Innov innovation, uh, yes, uh, every collaboration, studying collaboration is aiming at something innovation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, Sensei, can I wrap, uh, wrap what, what have been explained? Uh, Anwa, actually what Sensei is actually explaining is that um, the first thing when we want to start to do research is to have collaboration. So we mm. can sign either MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding. So once we have that, we can have the long term, um, I mean, collaboration, meaning to say, we because we, um, the researcher we become older and then we're going to retire but as industry their normal practice is business as usual so once the collaboration happen um, the product can be always um, improved and it will prolong the whole business um, so that's the reason why it is very good to have the collaboration among government, industry, and academia. One thing that I'm very impressed when I visited um, NIT, I did my attachment mm. in NIT last time during my PhD, um, all the mm. industry, they are very respect to the sensei. Mm. They will always ask their professor, the sensei, um, on how to improve. And the collaboration happens because the industry is being attached in the university. So mm -hmm. that's what happened in Japan. They don't have any uh, problem in terms of their patent, their copyright. They really agreed among the consensus to have this platform. And they always wanted to um, renew, emphasize, uh, uh, I mean, in terms of better product. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I want to add one thing. Uh, in our NITEC, the motivation of, for the new academia is very simple. Uh, we want to get the, some, some money to maintain the education first. Mm -hmm. And we have to send something for experiment, uh, not uh, business, but we need. So, uh, as the example of uh, tile, roofing tile, and ordinary tile, uh, the company pay uh, one percent uh, of, of for sale, for sale, of one percent, uh, considerably. Uh, big money. Uh, it's very helpful for the activity of night. Okay. Okay, Another that's yeah, question, question from Dr. Lo Win Pei. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Lo Win Pei. Okay, the question is Hi Prof, all right, yeah. different formula Hi, of prof. Yeah, different formula of white paint. Different we'll formula of white paint. Will that affect the end of result of the product? Mm. 
Her question is always difficult to me. Doctor, yeah. A different form, formula, yeah, of white paint. Maybe the concentration, yes, I mean, the white that, paint. Will that, will that the end, end result of the product? Okay, pass this uh, question. I will answer uh, by email. To All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Lowenpe, please email privately to Sensei and Sensei will answer this question later. <laughs> All right. Um, mm -hmm. We have another question. Yeah. Wow. It's been very hectic. I mean, I, I really love when the questions came out. All right. Um, the next mm -hmm. question is it? Uh, um, is thank you, Prof, uh, for the great success story sharing. Based on yes. your experience, what yes, um, what yes, is yes. the process involved yes. between? the product prototype phase to the commercialization phase what about the time duration thank you sharifa kamila said yusuf for the question so sensei mm -hmm. normally how long it takes um to being commercialized sensei you're very good in this it uh, depends yes, yes. <laughs> this is uh, many people call it uh, death body this valley was dead sea, dead sea. Uh, it takes a long time. There are many, uh, 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 yes, we have to do uh, effort. But uh, in the world, shortening the discussion, uh, it depends on the project leader. In our uh, many cases, sometimes the uh, project leader, the professor, uh, uh, not come from industry world. Uh, in our night take, many Professors comes from industry. Mm -hmm. so, uh, it works smoothly. Okay. It okay. depends on the project reader. Mm -hmm. It depends. So how long it takes, it depends. Like in UTM itself, we already have Inocom. So basically mm -hmm. for us to apply the copyright or either patent um, is by using the Inocom platform. So mm -hmm. then they will grant it whether it is fall under utility innovation or the patent. Mm -hmm. So types of patent, that's plenty. So of course, it's about um, keeping the secret um, ingredient. Oh, so next, Prof, we have another top um, question from Husna Aini. Uh, Thank uh, you. Uh, one, one time. Uh, the innovation depends on the good seeds. Good seeds. If the researcher in academia have very uh, interesting idea, it will be a very good innovation. Yes. Yeah. All right. The improvement of the usual product, no innovation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, next one. Dear okay. Next. Yeah. May, may I, know, I know, the we wind should, um, mitigate the. Effect. Yeah. Will it mitigate the effect of UHI? Yeah. yeah I know the wind speed. Can mitigate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, theoretical, uh, theoretically or naturally, the over. Uh, this is a very simple uh, knowledge. Uh, zero point meter per second. Zero point five meter per second. Uh, the we feel, for example, we feel cool. Okay. Because uh, there is a big layer, thin layer, of everything on the surface. The air, turbulent, air flow makes turbulent from the uh, surface. 
thin there and the, the, the layer will disappear. When that uh, we feel, oh, we feel the wind directly, it means uh, cool feeling, cool feeling. So uh, wind speed, uh, yes, it is. The is very useful one. Yeah. You're not so big fun necessary uh, not necessary mm -hmm. so um sensei am i right um yes wind speed does give in effect in terms of um cooling the urban heat but then again it depends on um what kind of material we use that's why um sensei already invent um such technology uh for example like cool island pavement um so this cool island pavement um, with the use of um, cool tiles, okay, uh, if, I, if you guys can Google, um, Sensei already come out together with uh, Professor Engineer Dr. Muhammad Fadil um, on with Dr. Nicholas, okay, in order to come out with the cool pavement. So this cool pavement also is um, being used by, uh, I mean, the method is using tiles on just mm -hmm on top of the layer of the asphalt the pavement and you can see there is a sam sample to um in irda iskandar region sensei do you still remember last time uh we do this cool island pavement with irda um to overcome the heat so basically um i mean material plays an important um role in order to cool the cities yeah mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Is there any other question? Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Can you give me three minutes? Yeah, sure. You have yeah. surprise, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I'll um I put, uh, can can we have a look on the surprise that Sensei yeah. wanted to brought out? So I'll pass mm -hmm. over to yep. Yeah. Okay. This so is the uh, music of my laboratory. Sea breeze in Malacca. So maybe My name is Maraca.
thank you. So, yes, yes. So Sensei is not only a professor, he's a composer. So um, Sensei, yeah. maybe you can give a brief description how you come up with the idea to play a guitar of sea breeze in Melaka. Maybe you can share a, a bit experience, maybe one minute. Okay. Okay. How 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 you come up with you with the idea of sea breeze in Malacca during the visit, isn't it? You went to Malacca. Yes, with uh, Doc uh, Kindry, uh, Doc Doctor Father took me okay. there. I and see. I there. And I was very impressed uh, to see the white uh, Malacca Strait. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, my my hobby is to write, uh, uh, make uh, music. Uh, the, you you can image uh, the artist, watch the beautiful scenery. And immediately they try to write the picture. It's the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Sensei. Thank you. I, I, it is a really good honor for me to be the moderator today. Um, again, um, yeah, I'm Isa Aminuddin from the School of Civil Engineering, Faculty of Engineering. Um, I would like to pass over back to Dato um, to conclude uh, before we end our uh, lecture series today. Again, um, thank you. Assalamualaikum. Salam Aidil Adaha. Pass over Salam. to you. Salam. Uh, thank you, Isa, for attending the session. And uh, to uh, Kenzo Sensei, Arigato Gozaimas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you. Salam. Salam. Uh, because uh, um, in the introduction, I basically uh, mentioned that you have a degree in electrical engineering and then you have another degree in medical engineering. You're involved in biotechnology, yeah, in environment. And uh, I forgot to add that you are also a talented music composer. And uh, in order the, and, to fight the environmental problem, we need too many knowledge right roses okay not only one technology is very weak excellent okay. thank you and then uh, you know that white shirt uh, really caught my attention does it say i love utm on that shirt that's yeah. excellent actually and then uh, on the other side is is yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> that one. yeah that one is excellent. That's superb. I love UTM. And then on the on the other side, there is a guitar. Yeah. So oh, a yeah. guitar and uh, yes, right. Excellent. Thank you so very much. Again, uh, Kenzo Sensei, thank you so very much. Uh, and and to all of you watching this uh, webinar live, uh, stay tuned. We have a lot more uh, UTM Engineering Distinguished Lecture Series in the future. So until then, uh, bye for now. Thank you. Salam Aidil Ha. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Terima kasih. Sama-sama. Arigato gozaimasu. See you again.